Yes, guys, we are finally back. We finally made it to the second reaction video on this uh, YouTube platform. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to this uh, BR, BP TV, Be Real, Be Positive Television, brothers and sisters. Big up on yourself for definitely being a part of the second one, brothers and sisters. The previous one is on the Mr. Lake's reaction, guys. That link will be where? In the first comment, in the comment box below, guys. So definitely check it out at the end of this video. I would appreciate that right there, guys. Don't forget to do what, guys? Click the thumbs up button, click the like button, brothers and sisters. Click it, brothers and sisters. Don't be afraid to click it, click. It's just a click. I talk in so much, man. All you have to do is just click. <laughs> well, and of course, give your comments in the comment box below. I will really appreciate it right there. So definitely click the thumbs up button, click the like button, guys, and subscribe if you have not done so. Of course, helping the channel to grow when you subscribe. And of course, you'll be notified when I drop my videos right there. And then without further ado, brothers and sisters, I realize that this one should have probably been a live interaction video brothers and sisters i should have done a live interaction but hey it is what it is brothers and sisters without further ado we have lofty here in the building and of course lofty is bringing some sort of situation that has taken place ah uh, uh, brothers and sisters in the warner region what is going on let us listen okay lofty have his reggae playing let's go ahead and every time whenever i bring you uh, matters of importance Yes, this evening, let me just get straight to it. We're going to have a very, should I say, candid slash emotional discussion, as it were, with one young lady that you already seen here in the frame. She'll tell you her name in just a while to tell you her story. And yes, you heard me right. It is her story. There's something that she wants you to know. There's mm. something that she wants the world to know. Okay, let's Try. get it. Just or sentiments expressed in addition to solutions to them. Guys, I know some more only. Let's forward it. I'm alive. You take a deep breath, that's good. You're exhaling. Mm, she's alive. alive. Thank God for that. Yes. Just thankful for life. Mm. That's all. Thankful for life. I'm thankful that God has a hand on my life and doesn't take it up. Amen, sister. Yeah, let me just, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful for life. Thankful to be alive. I'm just thankful for life that I hmm. get to go to my family, to my loved ones. I am just so thankful for life. Apart from being thankful, I'm a mixture of angry, disappointed, sad, hurt. It's just an array of emotions that is hard to put into words or, or put into, even put into perspective. Mm -hmm. I am originally from the village of Rathlin, oh, where I have lived in Warner for the last 20 oh, one, years. Okay. Mm. I am married in Warner, I have lived in Warner, I have two children, two daughters. I, in 20, 2009, mm -hmm. um, my husband and I constructed our home hmm. in an area of Warner, referred to as Allen Guys, before uh, you continue, round of applause right there. Only in people constructing their home in Dominica 2009. I mean, it's donkey years ago, like 15 years ago, brothers and sisters. If so, more or less, brothers and sisters. But we are happy that she was able to do that. That is something that is very difficult in this day and age, brothers and sisters. But kudos goes out to her right there. Uh, we live there soon. And her husband, of course. We were actually first inhabitants there. Hmm. We lived there when they had no electricity, no. no internet we just just water we had we lived there for quite some time like that until the utilities became available so you lived like bush negroes just water alone all right then. hey all right a uh, few years after we had moved in i had a neighbor who moved in as who, who constructed as well hmm. we got along just fine hi hello not really friends but just hi hello in 2017 after maria i I must say, I'm a farmer. I'm a medium scale farmer. Farming is one of my greatest loves. Now, brothers and sisters, before I go into that, I want you guys to take notice of what she's actually saying right there. She, they were the first in the area. They build their stuff first in the area, and then they got utilities afterwards. And they, here comes this other neighbor, somebody new coming in the vicinity, and they build their house right there. And of course, she mentioned that things were going fine and dandy. Brothers and sisters, keep in mind. That sometimes people might treat you nice in the beginning. They might treat you nice in the beginning. There's some things to always learn about these things, brothers and sisters. They might treat you nice and wonderful in the beginning. But they might have ulterior motives 
Ah, we shall see. I had some. Uh, Maria went up almost every week, and I had some sweet potatoes, and I think some sorrel left um, on a plot of land that belonged to my sister in law. So I. Her house was not constructed as yet, so I was farming on that plot of land. Okay. Um, I noticed that my neighbor, my neighbor's goats, were eating the sweet potatoes. Oh, the and then we had had. Long talks before, and I asked him on several occasions to tie his goats. And someone else said, Tie with him, he said to me, Your goats are damaging my plants, but they're damaging, they're damaging my plants as well. So I never, even before Hurricane Maria, there was always an issue with him not tying his goats. Hmm. Okay. So after Hurricane Maria, hmm. I had a 10 month old baby. Food was in uh, low, 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 food was scarce. And I saw about 15 goats damaging my sweet potatoes. Oh. So I started throwing rocks at them. Yes, man. Knock them on. They, oh, I... David and Goliath vibes. Take your slingshot. Yes, man. Sling that. Knock them out, man. And I said to him, my brother, your goods damaging me, you know. Hmm. He said to me, oh, when your food finish, what means you going to eat? Um, <laughs> wait, wait. So you send in your, your goat, okay, you don't have control over your goat like wild children. You know, they have own way, you know. You not tying your goat, you just leaving them run rampant. They come in and take from my food supply. You have been, you know, told about this situation. And you want to act rude? Gasa, if it's me, my goat, not my goat, no, if it's my potato, my bananas, my whatever that there. And I warn you twice. I warn you once, first time. Maybe you do, yes, I warn you the second time. If you do yet the second time, there's no third time. You don't have goat again. You, your goat, they vanish. What? The rapture take place on your goat. I, is a, is a goat that you went to eat. So I said to him, I don't eat meat as a matter of fact. What I eat, they goats are damaged what I eat. Hmm. The man told me he's a bad man. Oh, you bad man, and bad I man? I said to him about goats again, he went to hurt me. Boy. Your goat is magician. Disappear. They disappear. He then proceeded to shout my husband's name, saying that I'm going to hurt your wife if she tell me about goats again. Hmm. You might want to disappear too. It seems so. So your goat causing problem for my food that I have to eat in scarcity times. And you have been told about that and you're threatening not just me, but you're threatening husband as well. Nah. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, ay, ay, ay. Anyways, that passed. I didn't make a report at the time because we were after Hurricane Maria, nothing was functioning. Ah, um, I would still make a report if I was you. I would still make a report. Yes. Normally. Fast forward to. I would like to say 2019. Before she continues, guys, I would make a report just so it is on the record. To show, hey, I have made a report on this. You know? And nothing has happened. He, as long as, as well as his, as, as well as his girlfriend, started, it's like a, a campaign to berate me, to abuse me verbally, to, to abuse me physically, to abuse me in every way possible. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the, what took place in Sufria with them white folks, Jonathan and, and, and the other one. The Dominicans using the road, you know, is Dominicans Road, public road. You come there, buy a lot. I don't know who give you right to buy a lot that used to be formerly slave or historical uh, uh, ambience. You get it, and you're still giving Dominicans problems. She was there first. You come there second. You making your goat eat my. <laughs> I would get random nasty goat food. Mm. Salad, nasty. Just the most despicable things that you can think about. Oi. At first, when it started, I was much younger then, so I would answer. And then, upon getting advice from friends and family, it's been about two to three years that I don't respond. I just what? So, two to three years, the man cursing you and girlfriend get involved, and both of them cursing you black is white? <laughs> and, they, and they're goat eating your fruit? <laughs> your supply your provisions okay Just don't respond i know it okay in 2021 there was an issue with the goods again hmm. i have a free story of uh, a free story house 
and it goes to climb in the steps to go all the way downstairs and Boy. in the yard and on the porch of the back and downstairs. Boy, that's good. <laughs> But does goat have limb here? Yeah? What? So you make upstairs, does goat decide born downstairs? We going upstairs to, to see the view. Okay. So remember in our conversation uh, during post Maria, I went to the police and I said to them, We've had this interaction before. I cannot ask him to tie his clothes. Can you please assist me to ask him to tie his clothes? Hmm. The police responded, I believe it was a Wednesday when the police responded. Mm. That was the Wednesday before Good Friday. Mm. The Thursday morning before Good Friday, Holy Thursday, I know I heard a people stop in front of my driveway. When I looked up, his girlfriend was driving one bus. She stopped, shouted my name, I'm going to kill you, I'm going to stab you. What? Ha! My friend, that's a, that is the best opportunity for you to capitalize on somebody's finances. They're making threats for you, you should have a video to record them. You making threat? Ay, ay, ay. One of the things I told the individuals in St. Joseph, just record what they're doing and take them to court. You're trying to be nice and neighborly, but the neighbor don't want to be neighborly with you. They're cursing you for two to three years. And now go climbing your step. Boy, boy, boy what trouble is that for me? Go climbing your step, no we? To go on top roof or wherever God decided you want to go. And girlfriend coming, not even her spot. <laughs> she cussing. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Yes, Lord. But I agree. She didn't make a report. She told the police and what have you. To tie your goats and what have you. They don't hear. At least that is on the record. But and sisters, when you see you doing things like this, you must have it on the record to show, hey, we went to the police. The, the police come and check that is up to the police you make the report the po report has been made the situation is still happening you go and clarify again the police say they make the, the, the talk all right now i believe you have two options in that regard right there two options you when goat come especially goat climbing step just bullet bap, put some arrow in the goat well he doesn't eat meat but you can always sell it for what the goat has done to you for the past years sell it so you can get the monies to replant what the goat have eaten or you can decide you know what okay enough is enough i'm gonna take you to court for that now guys i'm not an advocate to not be neighborly but come on brothers and sisters there must be a line you must draw a line somewhere for people to understand that they're not your little boy you must draw a line somewhere or your little girl in that instance right there. He drove up, he drove, he drove up parking from my driver another bus, shouted similar sentiments. Both of them shouted my name. Hmm. That day we were in a clinic in La Plain, so I could not go in person to the police station. I called him at the police station, I explained to him I could not come in, but this is my situation. I was threatened by my neighbors, I would like them to speak to them. The police came on Good Friday. Oh, they came, okay, that's good. They spoke with them after the police left, the usual berating, the usual maple, the usual something I've become quite accustomed to. Should record them. On Saturday morning, that was I think 12th of April, before um, Easter Sunday, I woke up and all the landscape at the top of my driveway was destroyed. Anybody who knows me knows my love for flowers. It was totally destroyed. What did I do that? So we had a, a, a few back and forth of words. I went to the Mahopoli station, I made a report. The police said to me, I didn't see them do that, I can't say it's them. It was left at that. You should record. I tell you, you should have it on record. Not only that, make the man pay for your flowers. Not just pay for your making you go and plant it back. He had his girlfriend should be toiling soil for them to plant back your, your flowers. His girlfriend and the goats, them all of them should be in a row just planting flowers. Yes. After the police left, the girl walked across and threw some stones into my yard. <laughs> I called him out of police. I called my husband, was in my wife, and he went to my position. He made a report. <laughs> the police said they would respond. By the time the police had responded, she had piled a whole pile of stones in my driveway. Matthew, our house is about 150 house, uh, feet apart. We don't, we're not boundary in, we cross the main road. We, we have nowhere where we boundary. But that we don't have areas to interact. Mm -hmm. They go to the driveway, I go to my driveway. When my husband came home, we were with the police on our driveway. This people ran across and started an assault of stones. My three-year-old daughter at the time was running up the driveway towards us. Thankfully, we had a family friend who was there, and he grabbed her, he ran inside with her. <laughs> what? 
what would possess humans to be doing these things this is why i tell you guys this should be a live interaction you know next time i'll know better man i'll do better like, what would drive you to do such a thing it's not your property or god coming and mess up in my area and you want to just you know just just want to be rude about it okay even sustainable we should come as while well Gasa, you hit me face stone on my shoulder. My whole body get like a stone. <laughs> Why? Brute body bad, not true. You hit me on my shoulder. My whole body, I get burst head. All those kind of things there. <laughs> no, but what a, a situation is serious, brothers and sisters. That's a serious situation. Neighbors need to do better than that. The police showed up while everything was going on. They had to put some shots in the air so she calm down. Both my husband and many people were arrested. What? We Why? Went to court. The matter is before the court. Even with the court proceedings. Wait, I'm, I'm confused. What exactly is before the courts? The situation, maybe the altercation between your husband and, 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 and these people? Or the, the situation involving that they are trespassing on properties and this kind of things there what exactly is in front of the court or the abuse of of, of your property your fruits by the goats what exactly is in the court i've seen this in the previous reaction brothers and sisters one of the things that they have been stating is that they have a lot of um and they, they keep killing time when things are supposed to just happen one or two um and um, court um sessions it going on for and it going on for years Court in St. Joseph. Outside the court, in full view of police, police officers, in full view of everybody, these people will berate me, hmm. they will say nasty things, they will provoke me, they will do things just to get at me. Remember, I told you guys earlier on, you know, people might pretend like they, they want to be your best friend, but this is the devil himself that sent them. Is the devil that sending them? They come in nice and dandy, everything nice and dandy. It's not their fault. Well, you given your side of the story, I don't know what you did to them, but based on that story I'm hearing, the goats interfered with your produce. You telling them these things, and they get in vex with you. Ah, <laughs> boy, if it's me, your goat, your goat rapture, yes, your goat rapture. I have tried my best. Like I said, for the past three years or so, I have been so. I'm almost proud of myself to the level I've gotten that it has not been bothering me as much hmm. for me. My back is bad, I can take anything, but I have two small children mm. who are vulnerable, who are very bright, who pick up things very quickly. Mm -hmm. well, what are the ages now? My daughter, my first daughter is seven, and my second daughter is a year and ten months. Okay. Mm. Imagine taking your children, there's some activity in town that you want to take your children to, and you dress them, and you prepare yourself, and you walk in pressure and one at each hand, and somebody meets you and tells you those nasty things in front of the children. <laughs> my bigger daughter, She's at the point where she says, Mommy, they're just bullies. That's what they are, they just bullies. Well, that I like, we bullies. Bullies, I like, we. Yes. I remember in New York, there was a guy trying to bully me. In church, we, 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 church, we, be, we. Man, need me little tag me, man. Behave yourself now, my brother. I'm moving, he's following me. A little bigger than me, nah. I don't care if you're bigger than me, you know. But you must get blows from me. You must. You, you must get blows from me. You can give me blows, you know. But you must get blows from me. I hold him outside churchyard. I say, my brother, I don't, I don't, I don't tell you don't hit me behind my head. The boy jacked me. Gasa, oi, I tripped mister. And I just hit him, blacked out. And imagine, nobody don't stop me because they know the boy trouble. So. Nobody don't stop me though. I put licks in mister that day. I don't even stay for them to come and tell me nothing. I just open the gate and I got my room. <laughs> but stop bullying people. You don't know what people are capable of. This continued for quite some time. Now, I'm somebody who likes to speak the truth. About four months ago, they unleashed an attack on both of me and I got a hmm. video. I took it to the Mambo police. That is what I'm talking about. Based on the evidence I had on video, they had a very serious talk with them. Oh, yes. I will give Serious Jack talk. With that talk again, uh, crumbs up the phones, man. And Jack with her lipstick. The guy stopped harassing me. So it's been about three months, but mm. I have not had anything from him. Okay, and he would normally be a person that he would see me and say, he shot something nasty. The most mm. nasty things 
that you can think the fluids that come from my body, the most nasty, nasty, nasty things. You forget he have fluids coming out from his body too, man. You don't know what his pee pee, you don't know what his sweat, huh? When your nose running, things come from your body too. <sighs> so he stopped, but she never stopped. And it's not even her property that day, you know. She's so bold faced. The man stopped. The man is the the property stop. But you not stopping. Boy. Continue, no matter where she would be, she continued going to court on the 21st of March. I was sitting outside the court. And she passed my register slot. The only person next to me said, Tiffany, you have patience. I don't have patience like you, but. Oh, you don't see? Well, don't I don't eat. like having it. Do eat people, eh, please, brother. <laughs> do eat people. <laughs> I know where I've come from. I know. What I've been through, I've had a very, very, very rough life. Hmm. And notwithstanding what I've been through, I know what I've achieved. Mm. And I know what I'm fighting for, what I'm working for. I know mm. the plans that I have. I would hate to lose my patience today and destroy everything that I've worked for. Guys, you know what that reminds me of? Of what I was preaching, quote unquote, preaching on my WhatsApp yesterday on about understanding. For you to truly understand peace, you must know pain, you must know struggle. If you don't truly understand struggle, how then can you know what peace is? Huh? Just like how weak men create weak societies, strong men create strong societies, brothers and sisters. Understanding is key here. She grew up understanding pain and struggle, and therefore that created a stronger person in the understanding where she had peace. Understanding is key. So that helped in that regard as well. On yesterday morning, I, my video was packed in... Okay, just before, just before you get to yesterday morning, which sort of boiled over, as it were, uh, can you think, Miss Morgan, of anything other than the good situation that may have caused that kind of problem hmm. to ensue between Good question. Us? We've never been friends. Hi, hello. Oh. We've never crossed on any social level that we've had any interaction. I have never pulled out grass from his yard or cut a branch as we not bound. We don't want to. The only thing that I can recall is the goats. As a matter of fact, when I asked him to tie the goats, when he started his tie reel, he said, I'm not tying them on your bed, they have to shit for you, I'm not tying them, I'm not tying goats. You're not going to tie them, they have to shit on your bed. Hmm. I have one. That is, a, that is a weak man right there. That man is a weak man. He doesn't understand the struggle. That is a thing. Oh, he doesn't understand the struggle. Or maybe he didn't learn from the struggles. Because one thing to go through struggles, brothers and sisters, and not learn from it at all. And in April 2021, when they attacked us, my husband suffered suffer two fractured ribs. Hmm. The man wasn't able to cough and move for three months with two fractured ribs. Hmm. I have gone to almost every family member of this guy. And he has a brother who I speak with very well. And on numerous occasions, brother has spoken to, spoken to him. But I find it interesting. Maybe... Because you saying that you didn't, you, maybe, I don't know if she knew these people before, but apparently she's saying they know, there's not much interaction with them. Yet she'll, she, she, she's saying that she, she's, she went to all his family members, I'm guessing she, she's exaggerating that. Or maybe she's seen individuals coming to the yard or something and, you know, go and talk to them and realize his family that they are something of that sort, maybe. But uh, there's just a little discrepancy in what she stated right there how are you not talking to them that much but you go to speak to all his family members and you know but you know i'm just i just put that out there to ask him to leave me alone his brother's comments to me well i just don't know what we have with you hmm. the more we speak to him is the more he doesn't listen hmm. i have spoken to besides parents have sat him down and spoken to him hmm. to ask him to leave me alone he just does not leave me alone hmm. yesterday morning i my people was stuck in a road close to my my home I wasn't passing my driveway because I have an incline, my transmission was in medical issue, so I didn't want to have a, a, a difficult time driving my, up my, my driveway. Mm. So I walked up to my vehicle, while I was entering my vehicle, the young lady, young lady passed the bus, the usual salo. Mm. I normally don't answer, but the Monday night I had spent up to 3 a.m. in casual to my baby who wasn't well. Mm. I had slept, I was frustrated. Mm. And it no, the, 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 probably, probably God giving you a test there, probably God trying to give you a test there. He probably trying to make you stronger. Maybe that that's that's because I'm trying to figure how can people just be like maybe God that putting a test on you. They maybe I don't know. Just got the best of me. I said mm. to go yourself. Oh sure. She left, she drove off. Okay, guys. We have to worry about the language. Some people are telling me leave the language. No, little ones are listening. She came back, she turned on the highway, came back into our road. Our road 
there's about, uh, at least 150 feet distance from the highway to our road. Okay. Mm. She turned and she came back, she packed her vehicle, the bus in front of my vehicle. So I came out and asked, what you trying? I want to watch, let me move, what you trying? We had a back and forth for about three to five minutes. Oh, you're back and forth. Why that bomb? For what? Why? For back and forth. She finally, she drove off. I continued my journey, I was going to work. When I was just approaching the Warner Hill, I noticed that they were in my mirror. So I motioned, I, I mentioned to the person who was driving me at the time that be careful because they, they are our tails. Hmm. Almost, they almost ran us over, we almost bounced as a matter of fact, he pulled over and he let them pass. When they passed, she shouted from the passenger side, Sal, we're going to kill you. They hmm. had a, one of the, I would say the child because the hand was small, on the back seat of the bus, waiting a cutlass. I continue driving. That's so they bring in the little ones involved in that. Gasa, if you ever make a threat to me, ay, ay, ay. even if you're joking, just know your name going down in station. Just know your name go down in station. There is no ifs above about it. Your name go down in station. So if there's any squabble, you will get a blows from me. But I'm making sure I cover my tail first. Yes. So it's a good thing she was making the report. She showed the video. That's good. She did all the things that I, I wanted her to do right there. For me, I've become so accustomed to these people. Like, that girl will be in traffic. That girl will be anywhere. She doesn't mm. respect place, time, person. I'm shopping at a supermarket. That girl will say anything. The nastiest mm. of things. I try not to answer. I try my best not to answer. When you see them, just say, Jesus loves you. Yes, true. Or I saw, I saw love, okay. but Jesus loves you. Okay, that's what you should have told them. But people like that, when you don't answer, it makes it even worse. Yep. It's like it makes them their blood boil even mm -hmm, more. Mm -hmm. So we, we continue driving. When we got to Maho. Okay, let me just let me just interject in one minute, right? Because I want that that discussion to flow. Mm -hmm. um, yesterday morning, when things sort of boiled over, as I said before. You said about whose vehicle was blocking who at that time? She was blocking my vehicle. I was off the highway, off in off home in road, in a, a, a connected road, and it's somebody's home. Uh -huh. And she was passing in front of the highway, in front of the water tank. Uh -huh. She parked the vehicle in front of the road where I was. I could, effectively, I could not move. Hmm. So I then got out of my gas and to try. So we had a back and forth for about three to five minutes. It wasn't that long. The usual back and forth, usual, the usual. The usual, yes, I'm yes, not like yes, that's, yes. That's like drinking a glass of water from mm -hmm. So you see the back and forth. So she was giving you, you was giving her back and forth. Okay, so I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. So when it boiled over, then she drove off, going on to the to their house. I continued going to work. I went on my way. So I guess when we got to where they want to heal, they overtook us almost long since. Hmm. We let them pass, and we continued our journey. When I got to Maho, for some reason, I, I feel not. I feel I know. I have angels who feel for me. Amen. I have sister. people who pray for me. I have a mother who prays who goes on her knees. Mm. I'm so thankful. Big up the mothers out there who pray for us. Big up the mothers. <laughs> yeah, man. Big up the mommies. If you don't have a mommy that praying for you, hey, we'll be on to you. <laughs> but big up to the mothers right there. And this is why fellas need to get wet women who also pray for them. You understand? Because if you. Chaos does happen, brothers and sisters. The angels need to guide you. So big up to the mothers out there. We definitely pray for their family members, man. When I got to Maho, something just said to me, go to your left. There's a lane on the side of, it's almost like on the side of the lab, Gail's restaurant. That road leads to, going towards the packet standing by the back there. Okay, but it's at Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I looked to my left, I saw his bus parked in the intersection of the lane. Okay. As soon as he saw me, he came onto the highway and he blocked the traffic on the left hand side. Mm. Effectively, unable us to pass. He then got out of the vehicle. He had two heavy hammers. It's heavy hammers. They, it's something like a surge hammer, but it's, it's the one that they hold in the hand. Anyone you don't have. When I noticed that, I motioned to the driver who already noticed, and he put up all the my glass on my side. On my side came his little boy. He's about 11 or 12 years old, mm. with a cutlass, mm. banging on my glass. Mm. What? He then took. That's but what, what, what a movie that there, man? What? Little boy coming, boy. You're a drop kick this little. <laughs> no violence. No violence, please. Okay, guys. You have to do things the smart way. You know, I talk in based of, you know, the things that I feel, you know? But it's always good to be smart. 
when you're doing things, brother and sister. Sometimes when you talk to people too much, you know, it doesn't listen. So you do things the way that should be done. My windscreen. He threw something outside my bonnet. Then he bent down to pick up everything. He pick up when he was serving. The little boy. I asked, I asked, I asked him what he was driving to. Ramming, squeeze him on the wall. Yeah, man, jam that little boy. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? That's not good at all. Okay, guys, I'm just responding based off, you know, but you have to be smart. You have to, you know, and you, if you jam that little boy and, you know, you know, injuries, you might take fall for that. Especially if he's a little boy. But you might have leverage considering it was the elder, the older folk that was doing these things. Or maybe it's not the little boy she's talking about. Maybe she's talking about jamming the, the, the partner. But don't jab nobody, please, brothers and sisters. If your life is at danger, sure, crush their legs, mash them up. But if it's not, don't put yourself in, 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 in problems. Just squeeze him. He said to me, you know, I can reverse. I said, you sure you can reverse? He said, I can reverse. Hmm. He picked up the heavy hammer again, he threw it another time at my windscreen. Hmm. The guy put it into reverse, and we proceeded to reverse, all while he was pursuing us, throwing stuff at the vehicle again. Hmm. Quite a few bus drivers, Makes space for us to pass. I, I saw yesterday humanity on a different level. Mm. And, around, and around what time of day? I was month? just about after eight. About I was late yesterday morning to work because it my daughter was sick the night because I got to the one night up to three a.m. So mm. I'm normally be able by that time. But it was about let's say ten past eight, quarter past eight, twenty past eight. About there. Mm. We proceeded to reverse all the while he was in pursuit, on mm. pursuing us. The traffic was at a standstill. So I'm guessing you're talking about the L, the the old, the adult man. Okay. Got to this point where there was this big truck locking the room. And then luckily there was a, a guy from Spanish and I got out and I ran to him and I spoke to him in Spanish and I said to him, Help me. Move the truck, let me pass. He got out, he moved the vehicle, he moved the truck, and there was a bunch of San Joe Sky. Sky helped me very, very, very well to give me space to pass. Hmm. Sky help you, eh? Hmm. Interesting. All the way to Magic Mats. We turned there and then we continued up to we continued, continued up to one. My first instinct was to go to the police station. But I said, if he blocked me in this road, he's from Mahu, all the roads connect. So I chose not to go to the police station. I get straight to one and I got to one, I called the police. Hmm. Yesterday, if I was driving, I would have died. I am certain if I was driving, I would have died. But Funny. somewhere somehow God always puts he somewhere sends the right people at the right that's time. True, that's true, that's true. That's why it's always good to seek the Creator, brothers and sisters. When you wake up in the morning, oh, our Father guide us throughout the day. Never know things might happen. And you say, "Boy, vex, what happening for somebody else? Come and help you." And bow with that person in come, you might end up in problems. You know, so it's always good to ask the Creator for guidance, brothers and sisters. When you wake up, you not a cow, you not a cattle. Me being here today is a plea for help. Mm. A plea. To avoid this thing getting worse than it already is. So what I'm to the officers, what I'm to the individuals who are supposed to be upholding the law. When you go to a police station, how much times you want them, matter in court, they still continuing. Well, just put court case on them. Just keep or oh, you trouble this one is for that. Okay. If it's five I have to put on you, no problem. You'll pay me for each five. And then I'll put the lawyer fees on you too. Yes, I take you to court. You're causing problems. When I win the case, you pay my lawyer fees too. <laughs> yes. So if I body bad or true. Okay. <laughs> a plea to ask the relevant authorities to do something. I have made I don't know how many police reports. I'm sure more than forty at the moment. That is what I don't I more than forty. And that's still continuing, brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, really and truly, what, what, brothers? I think I'm gonna end it there. I'm gonna put this post this link in the description below so you guys can check it out yourself. But what would you do in that situation? You make police report, you record videos, you taking them to court for so I guess for something of that sort, you know, in that region. What would you do, brothers and sisters? And it still escalates, still continuing. What do you do? Because you don't want to end up on the other side of the law. You always want to ensure that you are on the right side of the law because sometimes. When Jumbi come behind you to use people, brother and sister, or Jumbi using people to come behind you, you know sometimes it's to get you in problems. So all those things, I know I'm making little things here and there just for the entertainment of the video, brother and sisters, but keep in mind, make sure that you are always right. Make sure that you are always right when it comes down to the situation right there. 
So they cannot say, oh, you did this and you did that. It kind of reminds me of election, brothers and sisters, when you heard about all this bribery and treating going on on the DLP side or what have you, if it, that be the case, brothers and sisters. And then you say, oh, why Lennox them don't do the same thing too? They give in monies, why Lennox them don't give monies too? Isn't that the same thing as treating as, and bribery and treating? No? Maybe yes or no? Why then would you want to associate and do the same thing that they're doing just so you can be as guilty as them? I've heard people saying all these things. Oh, why don't they try this? They're doing this. Yes, they're doing that. That might not be legal. On this, what have you? Why don't they do it too? When you're playing fear, brothers and sisters. You're playing fear. You're playing the game fear. But sooner or later, it'll come back to your elevation when you do things the right way. Keep that in mind, brothers and sisters. Like I indicated before, I'll post this link in the description below. You guys can go in the description and get it. These are just my thoughts. I think you guys need to hear the full thing right there. I myself will be watching the full thing after I go and eat my lunch. <laughs> that is crazy right there. 6.30, I'm going to be eating lunch, man. Yes, guys. Anyways, if all I said right there, what are your thoughts, man? Give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, brothers and sisters, subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come through right there don't forget brothers and sisters to subscribe to also help the channel to grow as well and of course like i indicated before click the thumbs up the like click the like button in that regard right there's about mistakes on this here br bptv guys don't forget to check out our previous reaction i also did on the mistakes reaction as well and without further ado brothers and sisters be real be positive <laughs>